Our Lord Jesus speaks in Matthew chapter 16, verse 15. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is one of the most comforting passages in all scripture for the church to hear. It tells us two things we must know and never forget. First, it tells us how someone is turned to the Lord. And I said it that way on purpose. We don't up and decide to turn to the Lord. Our dead flesh would never, and the old Adam wouldn't allow it. But by the power of Christ for us and the gospel, God reveals the truth about Jesus to us and gives us the faith to believe it through that very word. Jesus couldn't be any clearer when Peter made his confession. Jesus calls him blessed because God revealed this to him. God acted in pure grace so that Peter would recognize who Jesus is and believe on him. This is the greatest blessing God can ever bestow on a person, the knowledge that Jesus is the truth and can be believed. Well, now we know how God does it, right? We know that we simply proclaim the word who is Christ, through which God reveals to people in the darkness that Jesus is the light. Secondly, we learn in this text how the church grows. There's a rock on which he builds it, which is what we just saw. The rock on which Jesus builds his church is the gospel of grace through which God saves. But notice who is doing the building. It's none other than Jesus himself. If we proclaim that word, Jesus builds his church on it. He always has. There's no magic bullet to grow a church God's way. That is, to grow it a way that is sustainable with the gifts we've been given to distribute. This is a promise. Jesus will build his church on the rock of his life-giving word of grace for us in Christ. So we are not architects. We are not construction workers. We're beneficiaries. We're proclaimers. And I'm paraphrasing what I once heard another pastor say, we are not chefs responsible for making the meal. We are butlers. Our job is simply to get it to the table without messing it up. Christ will build his church. His grace and peace are yours. It really is finished.